New year, new paint colors. Every year the paint companies come out with their color of the year and we're gonna get into it. I think I've put together the most comprehensive list of all the articles I've seen online. So let's dive into it right now so we don't miss a single one. Thanks for coming back to Stovall House and this channel. We are super excited to be putting out this content for you. I'm Carolina Stovall. I am the face behind Stovall House Co. Um, and I just, I wanna share more of my knowledge with you um, about design and I wanna make it easy for you to achieve. And I wanna talk about the paint colors for 2024. Are you ready? So here we go. There is a theme for this year. Many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different paint companies are deeming a shade of this color their color of the year. So let's dive into it. No pun intended. Well, there was a pun intended, actually. Dive. What do you think about when you when you say the word dive? Water. What color is water? Well, water is clear. But what do we perceive as the color of water? Blue. There are what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different companies this year that are saying that some shade of blue is their color of the year. So the first one on the list, Benjamin Moore. This is probably going to be my favorite shade of blue that is coming out for 2024. Now, not only I'm scrolling through this phone here, not only do I have the photos on this phone so I can talk about the color, but I also have my list. I always have my notebook, so I never miss a beat. Okay, so this is probably my favorite shade of blue on the list. I really like it because it's rich and I feel like it's one of those blues that can stand the test of time. Okay, I really like it. Let's go beyond blue, shall we? The next one up is Bayer. Bear is one of my favorite paint brands. Actually, I really do like Benjamin Moore as well. Bear is coming. I think I think they kind of took a risk this year, honestly. Um, their color of the year is cracked pepper. Now, I've been seeing, and I personally have been just like over black for a long time now, but this black that they chose is almost like a dusty black and it's not that like super like bam in your face black that we've been seeing for many years now um it's like a dusty black and i like it i don't know if i would use it in my home personally just because what my home looks like but i do like it i, I like it i do i do like it. no I, I do i do like it okay next one is another blue are you ready this one is by sherwin williams I have to say this before we go on. Did you know that it wasn't until like maybe four or five years ago, I learned that that paint brand is actually called Sherwin Williams and not Sherman Williams. I had never heard the name Sherwin in my life. Sherman, on the other hand. <laughs> okay, Sherwin-Williams color of the year is another blue tone. This one's called Upward. Upward is, sorry, I got to pull it up because my phone here keeps going to sleep. Okay, Upward is coastal blue. It really kind of gives that coastal feel regardless of where the coast so we could be talking about like Nantucket blue like or or even Florida coastal or California coastal which you don't really see a lot of blues in California coastal you see more neutrals but this soft blue goes really 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 well with super light toned neutrals so it's it's a soft blue it's nice i like it um it's a statement still once again but you know 
All right, the next color, we're going not blue. Next, we're going with yellow. No, I'm just kidding. Yellow's fine. Glidden has chosen a pink color that they're calling Limitless. This is a soft yellow, you guys. Like, I... I'm trying to think of where I would put this yellow. I could, I would put this yellow in a nursery. I would put this yellow in a sunroom. I would put this yellow in a pantry or in a bathroom. That's where I would put this yellow. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, the next color, here we go again, another blue. This one is by C2 Paint. They're calling this thermal. Thermal is, I mean, it's bold, y'all. Like, it's it's a state, I don't know, okay. I'm gonna rephrase. I don't know if it's as bold as it is just a statement color. It's not like slapping you in the face bold, but it's, you know, this picture, like they're saying, hey, paint your cab cabinets this color. I don't know if you're gonna like your cabinets this color in a year, maybe but maybe not. It's, it's a statement piece. It's pretty. I really do like it. Um, especially if you use it to kind of saturate a room, but, um, I'm really curious to see what people are going to be using these blues for this year. All right. The next color, here we go. We're talking another blue from Valspar. Once again, light in color, kind of coastal. This one's definitely got like some green undertone to it. Um, could look good. Once again, drenching a room in it like this picture shows, but once again, statement. Is it going to stand the test of time though? That is always my question when it comes to paint because painting can be super easy, but it can be super just Blah. you know, you got to tape off the edges and oh my God, and don't get paint on the ceiling because Lord knows that's a pain in the butt, <laughs> paint in the butt. Anyway, <laughs> all right, moving on. The next one is so far away from blue. It's called persimmon, like the fruit. It is a orangey, coral, yumminess color. I really like it. The thing about a lot of these colors that we're seeing this year is that they all scream, not all, but most of them kind of scream summer. So I think a lot of these would be really good in the Southern states where you have warmer weather throughout the year. But in homes, maybe up in the mountains or up north where you maybe don't see as much sunshine and maybe that's where you think you want that bright, those bright colors, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, so this is very interesting to me. You know, we all are also seeing, you know, a lot, the real estate market is showing that people are still migrating in masses to the Southeast of the U.S. So those are really the warmest states other than of course, you know, like Southern California or, or Arizona. Um, but it's interesting. These bright summery colors are being deemed colors of the year. Um, for this persimmon, once again, I think if it were me, I would put it in a bathroom. I would put it in a sunroom, somewhere where you want to be bold and have it like a real statement. Um, and that you're not afraid because matching your furniture, matching what you already have to some of these colors may be challenging. So, all right, the next one on the list is my favorite of all. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 on the list. This is my favorite. Are you ready? This one is by Dutch Boy Paints and they're calling this Ironside. Ironside is like this rich, mossy green. 
it is so good you guys it is like just like in this picture like you want to cover your ceilings you want to drench your room in this and let me tell you the cool thing about this color you can put in dark pieces in front of it and it's going to look incredible it's going to give it that real academia look or you could put layer in really bright pieces and it's really going to give it that kind of organic modern um, without being too much in your face. I don't know if you can hear my dog snoring on the couch, but she apparently thinks I am very interesting. I love this Iron Side by Dutch Boy Paints. This is the winner for me. All right, next one up is another blue. Y'all. Minwax, Bay Blue. Listen. This one is giving me Pioneer Woman Home Collection at Walmart vibes. I'm not into it. It's, it's too much for me. I don't know. Do you like it? Like, tell me. What is happening here? Tell me if you like it. Um, I would love to see how many people are like digging this color. All right, the next color is another, no it isn't, hold on. Where are we? The next one we're gonna get to is Graham and Brown. That's the paint, that's the brand name. The paint color is called Viridis, Viridis, V-I-R-I-D-I-S. This color is also yummy. I like it. It's another green. It's a lot, has a lot more yellow in it than, than um, Dutch Boy's Ironside. They, this picture shows it on a greenhouse. I think that is phenomenal. I really, I'm just into green right now. Never really like been a super green fan, but I'm into green right now. It's working for me. All right, the next one. <clears throat> Sorry, my opinion, Krylon bird, or excuse me, blue bird. That is another very bright tropical color. Another very, very bright tropical color. Like that is, you've committed if you're going that color. I'm curious, I'm so curious to see what's coming later in the year in terms of styles and designs and art because these are bold, you guys, they're bold. All right, another blue, Dunn Edwards. This time they are coming out with one called Skipping Stones. I said I really liked Blue Nova from Benjamin Moore. That was the very first one I talked about. I like that one. This is probably my second favorite blue. This is Dunn Edwards, Skipping Stones. It is a dusty blue. I think this one stands the test of time a lot better than some of the other blues. It's a little safer. You know what I mean? Just a little safer. I like it. And that's it for the blues, okay? The, the, and the next one we're going to talk about is Rust-Oleum. Yes, Rust-Oleum has a pink color of the year. And this one's super interesting for me. They're calling this Chocolate Cherry. So it's a brown with, you can definitely see the, the red undertone in it. I think it's beautiful. I think if you're going for that drenching look where you're painting the whole room, painting bookcases, all the things. I think if you are into the kind of like academia look, I think this could be a beautiful color. A men, a gentleman's lounge, a library. Like this could be as delicious as chocolate cherries. I actually don't like cherries, but you know what I'm saying. This could be really good. Um, now Magnolia Home by Kills. Kills doesn't come up doesn't pick a color of the year but magnolia you know like joanna Gaines magnolia um they've partnered up with kills to create a paint line and it's their magnolia home paint line um and they've come out with a 
collection called the Castle Collection. So if you saw on their show over the past couple years, they were renovating this house in Waco that looks like a castle. Anyway, these are the colors that they used in that home. If I had to pick my favorite, I mean, I told you that Ironside was my favorite of all, but I think if I really had to pick, the cop-out would be <laughs> this collection. I mean, we're talking like the yummiest creams and sages and like a mustardy and like a dusty rose. And I mean, these are good. Oh my gosh, these are good. I love these. I think you cannot go wrong with any of these colors. So the names of these are Steep Stool Green, Castle Cream, Estate, which is like a gray green, Vintage Crown, which is a gold, Rosy Pink, you know what that is. Conservatory is like a blue green, more toward the green. Um, the plaster, which is um, a very creamy cream, creamy beige. Drawing room is like a sage green with a lot of white in it. So it's very light sage green. Moody fig, which is almost like an eggplant color, is amazing. And then cottage grove. From this picture, to me, it looks like it's a pretty deep blue green. They're beautiful colors. I would be okay with any of those colors. Highly recommend. And then the only other paint company that, um, you know, we all know about is Faro and Ball. And Faro and Ball doesn't pick a color of the year, which is interesting. I wonder if they're going to start doing that at any point. So that's where we're at, you guys. We have been through... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 different companies. And two of them, Kills and Pharaoh and Ball, don't pick colors of the year. Magnolia Home went with a collection instead of just one color. And the trending color for all of the other brands is obviously some shade of blue, 50 shades of blue. <laughs> so thanks for going on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I've already shared my thoughts with you. Let me know what you liked. Let me know if you'll be using any of these. And um, I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.